This is AIR, Artists in Residence Broadcasting, coming to you once a week from New York City. Hello, as a lot of you know, uh, this is Emily Frankel, my wife, and, and I... And this is John Cullum. That's right. And today... What? I would like to talk about John and the fantastic sport that he played so well it was tennis. Well, it's been a long time. It, oh, it was wonderful, John. I just wish that I had learned, could have learned to play tennis. Well, you could have. Oh, I and tried. I, well, Ooh. you tried, but you know something, I'll tell you the truth. This is a little inside secret. Emily is a born instructor herself, and after I had given her a one or two lessons or ideas of what she should be doing she was beginning to tell me how it should be done and so I could never <laughs> well I mean it was just a natural kind of thing Emily that was a, you yeah you picked up things very quickly but you were a little impatient with me no, I just have difficulty well you're, you're you're small bone and my wrists couldn't really sustain the racket no, no. and then of course we have our son John David who was very talented in tennis and probably should have gone on with tennis, but didn't want to, maybe partly because his daddy didn't teach him. Well, you remember how that happened, don't you? You're the one that... I tried to teach J.D., but he's a lot like his mother. He didn't like taking instructions from his old man. So he went to you, Emily, as I understand, without me knowing it, and asked you to let him enroll in the uh, oh yes indeed you know, he went to a tennis yeah. court school and yeah not too long far from here but he, John and he taught him he got he, he took lessons from pros over there and uh, became quite good now talk about you and tennis because you played tennis you played would you call it professional tennis you certainly played in tournaments no well I played in tournaments but I never took tennis any, any more seriously than I did anything else I was. I, you know, it was all a big game for me, including acting and singing and tennis and dancing and all. It was all just a, a lark for me. And uh, uh, when I got to be about eighteen or nineteen, there were people who could who could beat me on occasions at Knoxville, but I was uh, also able to beat them. Anyway, uh, I kind of um, lost interest in it. But my doubles partner and I won the Southeastern Conference. Uh, that doubles. was a major thing to do, wasn't it, John? Well, it was. It was a big thing. He won the. He won the singles, and we won the doubles together. And then uh, he decided he wanted to go to Europe to play uh, in the in the tournaments over there. And that's what I can't. I find amazing that you went to Europe and played tennis in Europe. That's right. Actually, uh, I was not in good shape. I hadn't played for very much, and. It, it took me a couple of months to get back in shape. By the time I was in shape, I had to come back. I actually had an invitation to play at Wimbledon because of uh, my doubles partner, and I could have gone there. But I came back to Knoxville, and uh, I had to go into the Army. So it's that, amazing that you... And I, I just remember your serve. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's nothing like what they do nowadays, but it's a great sport, and if I'd, if I'd stuck with it, I could have become a pro. My, uh, Bill Davis, my doubles partner, became a very good pro, famous pro. But you still watch tennis. You watch tennis like a hawk. Yeah, I like it. I understand the game. That's a well. sport that I, whenever there's tennis on, there is John Hellum <laughs> focused on it and very absorbed. Yes, well, it's... Uh, it's uh, it's it's one of the great. I'm not going to get into all of that, but I could watch it uh, for hours, as you know. And your favorite player is who? Well, Roger Federer has been my favorite player for a long time. He's my favorite player. Yeah, and um, but uh, Nadal is. They're all. There's a lot of very good players. There's not many uh, American players. In fact, there's no. No American players in the top ten right now, which is very disturbing in terms of, of uh, the U.S. Is it a sport session. that you would encourage other people to learn and to participate in? Well, I don't... Uh, yes, it's not... Uh, golf is a very good sport if uh, because it's more relaxing and you get to get out in the air and uh, see beautiful sights. And uh, it's not as... Um, 
I was highly competitive. So tennis was a good game for me. John Cullum, you were a winner. You well, really played tennis to win. That's, and it was so exciting to watch you. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, yes, I miss Yes, don't that. say, oh, well, well I it miss, was, I you miss were that, beautiful. It, uh, it, was, it, it did give me, it, it equipped me to compete in, in, in theater, I think, better. Because uh, I, I liked the sport for itself, and uh, yet I did have that competitive edge. And that's the same way I approach acting. Well, I admire your tennis player, and I admire you as an actor. Are we going to talk about you as a dancer one of these days? We will, but not today. All right. This is John and Emily, and we're signing off. See you next week. This is AIR. See you next week.